My name is Robert Ridge. I'm 45 years old. I've been running the Trick Factory since March 1999. Uh, we reluctantly had to close uh, the facility at the end of May this year uh, for a number of reasons, but we had a uh, we had a good run at it anyway. And in that time, we had a lot of fun. And um, as always, I always wish to thank everybody who's helped me with that. And on that note. Uh, I'm going to pass this interview over to um, the two people who helped me the most in recent years. The first of those is Tim, so over to you, Tim. Hello, uh, I'm Tim Hurley, I'm 26 years old. Uh, I've been helping Rob with the unit uh, for the last, I suppose, four or five years. I've been running, used to run a night, I've uh, been riding there for many, many years as well. Um, Rob's been pretty much like a father figure to many, many of us. Uh, real inspiration, always busy working, um, and he's always got time for us and for everyone else. And he's always up for doing the odd project and mad riding things. And, uh, yeah, it's a shame that it's, it's now coming to an end. It is a real end of an era for a lot of us, uh, especially for Rob, who's he was the original builder. And you know, we've seen a lot of faces come and go, but the one face that's always been around is Rob, and the trick factory's always been around. So it'd be a big loss to uh, Dorset, I think, to be honest. Making me but, blush. Uh, <laughs> but um, I'll hand you over to Ian. I'm 26. I've been running the first day of Trick Factory for about eight years now. Um, I first started helping Rob at work um, as well as riding with him, so um, he's also given me a career. So he's uh, done more than, more than enough for me throughout my life, so I'm always happy, happy to help him with uh, projects and things in the future. Um, really, we're just here today to raise awareness. We want to get another facility really so we can um, continue this. It's always been good over the years so there's no reason why it can't be good again. I mean it's a sad time at the moment now we're closing it all down but I reckon with enough support from the community and with the councils and everything like that we could uh, get another project on the go and be good. And uh, yeah. And there, so really we just, uh, this is a plead out to any councillors, any, anyone who sees this video and we just want to say we need a property as well. We need a building. We need a piece of land. If you've got a piece of land, we can get permission to build a building on, then that would be great. We can build a skate park in there. And if this can all happen again, we can have it for many years to come. Back over to Rob. Okay. To build on what Ian has just said there, we're here in front of the Arts Centre in Bridport, and uh, we had to be up a little bit early this morning, but we're doing a thing in the middle of the town to raise awareness to try and get um, a new. Uh, building uh, to house some ramps and, and to my left here we have a, a small ramp which we built today from some of the leftover ramps uh, from the trick factory and uh, as I say we like to think we're pretty good at doing this now so we were able to put a pretty good ramp up here in the matter of a few hours and lots of people having fun on it uh, they've been quiet for a minute because we're trying to talk but um, yeah so I mean for instance we have this ramp here um, we know for a fact, for instance, if we head due south 300 yards, there's empty buildings, local authority empty buildings just stood there. We would dearly love to occupy one of those, uh, to name but one example. Um, uh, it hasn't happened yet, but we keep looking. We are optimistic to try and find somewhere. And uh, we've received a great deal of support from the public and users and parents of uh, users down there. And uh, yeah, we all hope that um, we can carry on in some uh, shape or form. So that's me pretty much done. I'm going to throw it back over to Tim. I'd like to a massive thank you to the CYP, the Community Youth Project. Um, they put a lot of work into organising this today. Um, they did all most of the groundwork and we've, we've put the park together for them to use. Um, they've been really good, uh, especially Joe. He's been a huge part of it, helping organise and actually coming down and helping us dismantle the current park so we had around to use today. Uh, and they've been, they've been really supportive for the last sort of couple of months they've been there and also trying to raise awareness as we all work full-time jobs we haven't got time to be doing lots of community work and raising awareness so they've been really out there sort of pushing it forward and trying to get some more sort of scope on everything to be honest. Horrible paperwork. Yeah. Which none of us are yeah. We're hands on. We're hands on. We'll do all the hard work. We just want someone to do all the paperwork. So if you're out there, we need you.